Warning, this con game contains violent and disturbing material. Don't, don't, don't listen to that. That's, I'm sure that's nothing. Nope, 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 nope. For as long as you can remember, legends have told about the derelict mansion upon the hill that casts a blanket and what... And as we go down the Let's Play rules number one, we do... Th I'm pretty sure the audience is able to read. But, but, but you know, we got to appeal to that young demographic, man. Well, the young, really stupid demographic. Well, Rule number two, never insult your... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, another episode of Dead Men Plays. Uh, I'm Ken, and this is Travis. Uh, this is kind of like a Dead Men Shares kind of thing we might try, where me and Travis are going to force, I mean... Uh, Share uh, games from our uh, new, uh, our previous game playing experiences and try to get each other and show each other some games that the other one hasn't played yet. So in this episode, Travis and me are playing a game that Travis has recommended, apparently called Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Oh, yes. that's literally all I know about this game. Yeah. And with a name like that, how can you not be amazing? Fair I mean, enough. Because so the internet loves those jump scares. We know that. So, so. Yeah, so you've nerd nothing about this game. Not really. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to get started on this. Warning you guys, like I said, this is a first impressions thing. We're going into this completely blind. I, I actually have seen all of this. So I'm not. But you haven't. Okay. okay so that's things. the buttons. And we are in an environment. Oh, so you are. So and this isn't my home. Can you, player, make it through without the room? Is she talking to me? <laughs> the sense of humor's got me so far. Okay. The sprint bar. It's got kind of a Yay! It's got kind of a old dungeon crawler vibe to it. The hallways and the thing. Ah, room one down! Woohoo! Okay. I don't see what all the fuss is about. This game's freaking easy. Now it's just a thousand more. You, you did see that. There was a thousand Yes, there's more. a thousand okay. doors. Yeah. Actually, this isn't quite finished. This, still is, this game's still in beta. Okay. So there isn't a thousand rooms yet. But there will be. I think it's like 700 something. So, yeah. We're well, doing pretty good so far. Okay. Okay. So, you know, it's just an empty thing. Okay. I like it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I really like what they did with the place. Yeah. It's, I mean, I do actually like the art style. It's mm -hmm. quaint. Lighting's nice. Uh, still kind of waiting for those jump scares, though, but... Why, why do you assume there's jump scares? Oh, I like the bad frame. Nice little drawer. You Ooh, know. not interactable. Yeah, you can't see them. I love the varying uh, door squeaks. It was nice to see that level of creativity added to the game. Mm -hmm. This mysterious candle right here. What could it do? It could be... It, it's just, you know... It's just a candle. It's just there for aesthetics, you know. It's a nice looking thing. At the uh, bridging paths of the game, opening up to story-based replayability. Showing once again that it's true and consequences of actions that lead to the most memorable no moments of, of game narrative. Sure, sure. <laughs> I can't say it. Um, I love how the... Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Ooh, I like that. It's a thing. Oh man, I want that on my wall. Someone's gonna tore that one up. So, so impression so far, Ken. Well, You're at I room like twenty. I like that the um, the just the um the, the retro chic um art aesthetic of the game definitely brings forward a uh, a, a true postmodern expressions of the game. <sighs> Uh, you don't go on, you don't spend this long with, uh, doing content with the guy without knowing what kind of is going to make him get pissed off on camera. Oh, but I kid. Oh. We're, we're not getting into that. 
did for now. So, 24. Okay, so, you know, we're, we're cruising right along. We're, what, what, 25, 25, 40th of the way through it. I'm bad at math. Close to no. That's it. Weak. <laughs> doing good so far. Okay, <laughs> are you gonna? You think you're gonna be able to make it? I think so. I mean, you I'm starting to get with that. I mean, I don't want to count my chickens before they lay eggs here, but I think I might be getting what the, the big twist of this game might be. <laughs> what? I mean, it's a size twist. I think. It, I think this is just. You know, it's all good. I think you're just really good at this game. Look at that, look at that one. Oh, no, that's just, I need to see that. Is this on like Steam Greenlight or something? Or is this just uh, oh, normal open beta? Yeah, there's open beta. They're going to be free on Steam. The whole game is going to be completely free. Oh, nice. Is, yeah, they're just all those games. Okay. And then they're they're going to do a DLC that's going to be paid. But yeah, so far this game's completely... It's, uh, it's free of something, all right. Kind of making my way through these caverns right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Picked a strange game to start us on this whole trail with. Uh, gotta, gotta just like, I will stuff. say, if the, if the point of this game is what I think it is, is actually, I, I, I could definitely argue some positive points for its design. But I don't want to analyze that until I know that's actually what it is. Because I doubt you want to spoil it. I mean, you assume there's a thing. <sighs> yes. So, I don't know exactly what games we're going to end up being showing each other on this little journey of ours. I know Travis plays a lot more indie stuff than I do, so I'm sure that some stuff I end up getting given is probably going to fall down that path. Alongside some JRPGs and some other fun stuff. You just not going to look around or nothing? You just gonna... Hey, look at you! At first this place may seem cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. Hmm. Ken, Ken. Whoops. You gotta hang in there. You gotta hang yeah. in there, Ken. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I get it. I like it. Now, that should be kind of an interesting idea. Like, because I, I know me and you have talked about Alice in Wonderland adaptations and Crowley That Forever. Like, do you think in any format that an Alice in Wonderland video game could work? Yeah, it could. Well, what, what would it be like? Uh, you could do a many different things you know would wouldn't it be like would definitely not be like my uh <laughs> that's what to say uh, did you ever play the sequel <laughs> i've heard it's worse uh maybe can't play. oh it might be kind of fun to if i could ever get a cheap copy it might be kind of fun for a a one go like hey bon voyage plays and not oh jump scare ah ah ah, ah. ah. Did it scare you? Are you? Do you feel the chill? Do you feel the terror? <laughs> oh man! Ah. Oh. Hmm. You know, maybe you should look around first. You, you just rush. There's no rush. I mean, look at those chairs and hmm. just, just take a next step. That is a really nice chair. Look, a thing. Turn around. <coughs> oh, look, a chair. That, that one, that one. Oh, look, another chair. Hey, look, a table. A table? Hey, look. What do you know, a table? Spouting, splashing, soaking. Innards in jest invoking. Nailing never stops the choking. 
Oh no 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 no! Moving on the thing, moving on. Well, so the game clearly isn't exactly what I thought it was. Okay. I thought it like for a second I actually thought that the crux of this game was that the the joke of of it was seeing how far the gamers would go before they're like, surely this whole thing doesn't have any jump scares. Like, okay. if they would actually do a thousand floors just to get people, like, you know, like the whole thing was a joke. That's well, what I thought at first. Okay, a little bit with that, this is, it's actually random. Like, the rooms you'll get are never the same. It's always, you know. Um, okay. That's weird. Anyway. Procedural. Yeah. Procedure generated. And you, you still, yeah, okay. You're gonna, you're, you're taking damage. You got health. Uh, <laughs> I know what you have done and and what I have to, I'm dead. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, so a little soul that, wanders in an endless maze. Okay, little that was just you were really lucky that you like when I see it, like there was a couple of you know really, you know the, the spiders popped out and things. And little, right here, so you just you just got really lucky. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got the 66. And then, um, you just... Just start it over again? Yeah, keep going. I mean, it's like... Just how it works. You, you just, just... You just... You were... You, were, you didn't even, you know, run mechanic at all. You know, oh, I forgot. There's a run mechanic. Yeah. And you, you were being chased by a uh, slime man. Slime guy. All right, then. So back at the intro, we are again. Yeah, yeah just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, room Ooh, 50. 50. And we gotta hang in there. We gotta hang in there. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So yeah. So you just got destroyed, Kevin. Okay. So in a way, I am kind of glad. Whoa! All of the YouTube hits. <laughs> oh, it's adorable, pumpkin. Oh, I mean, that's that's fine. That's great. See, nothing in harm is gonna happen. I will just say it is can... it is interesting to see that like after like Steam and all that other stuff has been just flooded with, you know, Freddy inspired clones or just you know exploitive. Yeah. Okay, uh, see now they're happening more. Like you went through fifty rooms and like nothing. Huh. You know, like it, it's nice to see someone is actually trying to like do something interesting with you know jump scare and horror and that kind of thing like. This is more of like a walking haunted house kind of aesthetic than it is a, you know, big epic survival horror or a five, five Nights, which is just a completely controlled jump scare marathon. Yeah. I mean, it's just really good with, I mean, Five Nights. I know people who think jump scares, you know. And this game, I want you to really get into it more before I start talking about how the sex things, but I really dig this game. I hear ya. All right, that sets him off, and I need to get into the next room quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go, go. Do, do, do things. I'm stuck. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a small glitch. It's, uh, uh, and your your health is regenerating, so okay, just cool. Don't get. Okay. <laughs> that's too is narrow. Decent. That's funny. Not. Which door, 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 door. Turn, 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 spray. Oh! Yeah, uh, he, he goes through walls. And, uh, okay, yeah, there is a small little... Uh, Learning curve? Uh, thing, I was going to say, there's a small little glitch with the door. Hey! Oh, wow. I ten well, I got attacked quicker, but, you know. Okay. Oh, well. 66 out of 1,000. <laughs> Actually, 760. 760 out of a potential thousand. Yes, the, the, the end isn't there, but so far. Okay, so impressions. I like the idea of it. Um, it's definitely got some creativity to it. I'm just trying to. It, it is intention. There's a lot of the intentionally vague aspect to it, so like that can be obviously difficult to figure out a sort of end game to the whole thing. That's to be expected. Um, but. But just from what you've seen so far. Yeah, I, I can see the appeal. Okay. Well, let, let's just keep going. It's got a little bit of a Resident let's... Evil feel to the opening doors and stuff like that. And... Fair enough, fair enough. 
Are, are you truly terrified? Um, I'm invested. I don't know. Terrified. Okay. okay. Well, invested still good. I mean, you gotta watch out for those pumpkins, I guess, but... Yeah, did you see that pumpkin? It came right at you. Yeah, I don't know. You just got a little unlucky in the whole, you know, uh, randomly generated thing. But, you know. And that does happen from time to time, like... No, that's part of the procedural. It's random. Sometimes you just get nothing. Sometimes you get, you know, oh, and you're dead. You know, just, it has been interesting seeing the last couple of years how, like, survival horror has come back from... I want to say back from the dead because it's a horrible pun. Ah! Um, but, like... It, I know it technically, like, really, like, never left, but, like, it, it's the resurgence has been kind of interesting to see. Yeah, but what's more impressive is we're getting good survival in horror. Ah! Ah! Ah, scary boom. Oh, no! Yes, we're getting good ones, yes. Yes, that's a survival horror is a thing. And the thing is, horror is always the heart that you're in the slime. Right. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go. Uh, okay. Press the button. Oh my. Uh, no, no, oh, There's no. A, that's a dead that's end. That's a dead end. Go, go. Uh, regen, 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 regen. Oh no, he's cheating. Go, go. Da, 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 da. Go. Catching other Son of a bitch. Other ways. The man to uh, Fudge, sick of fudge. <laughs> well, like um, I, I like the fact that they like the the less like immediately like scary visuals do actually point your emphasis towards where like the the real emphasis of like good horror comes from, which is like you know the the, the feeling of like sometimes lack of control or like the in like the feeling of inevitability. It's like it's like that it's that moment where, like you, like you can be a chasing bunny after me, but I'm still gonna be like no. No, 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 don't do the thing. Ah, oh, like it's. He, he did the thing. And you are the dead man. Like, wow, you're just getting worse, Ken. You're the. Because, I mean, I've. You can't make something scary about anything. I mean, if, if you're good enough, you can scare people with anything. Like, yeah, that's the thing. And then it's. it's really. Thing is, like, anyone can just throw blood and guts at the screen. Absolutely. And that's what most horror games try to be and there are awful there yeah. are so many it's bad like horror at games the same point like it's, it's like it's like comparing like how you know originally we complained about how everyone was doing just um uh daisy and um what's the other one uh yeah and five nights clones for like the longest time it's the same how like with movies how everyone was doing paranormal activity clones for like ah paranormal activity clones for like the longest extended period of time yeah. and how like that went nowhere. <laughs> and Paranormal Activity was, you know, was pretty good for what it is. And then it just kind of, you know, was the same. And then yeah. we just got the same. It's like no one's learning. And this is this is actually different. Which you, which you are you gonna take? You've chosen poorly. Yeah, references. The um but it's like and even with movies lately, like horror movies have been surprising me. Oh yeah, you missed. It. Wait, did, did you read that? This is not romantic at all. That's oh, yeah, okay, right, from the last one. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it really isn't that romantic. So not romantic. But like, um, because we had not only one but like two actually like really strangely formatted horror movies come out this year, and surprisingly, the one I ended up liking better was the one that everyone assumed was gonna suck. Ah, it's a note. Oh, thank you, Mr. Skeleton Man. He's just being friendly. Can I read it? Yeah, use, use, use the button. Use the E. Is, does that let me read the thing? There you go. Right. I know someone is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully, leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reach some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. It seems like that thirst and hunger seems to be a common theme with these notes so far. Huh, interesting. I wonder if that's going to do something. Oh no, slime! Or, you know, just the puddle. I'm sure it's nothing. The walls ooze with green slime! Oh wait, they always do that. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So this is the just the big room. Okay. Okay, oh no, so nobody's we'll gonna act because do the thing. Yep. Go, go. No, you're in the trap. You're trapping the corner. Ah, go, no, go. No, okay. Do, 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 do. No, go sideways. Thing. Back, back, forward. Okay. To the right corner. Da, da, da. See, there you go. And E. Sit. And go, 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 go. <laughs> ah! Get in. No, go, go. No one actually got me. I'm not hey, gonna lie. Like it's interesting. <laughs> ah! Shit. Huh. Now this is all Which starting one? to piece together. Oh. It's almost what? as if they're trying to use cutesy images in order to contrast the the differentiation between horror technique and horror visuals and showing how one is significantly effective without the other, and the other one without the other is actually far less difficult. It's almost as if it's a commentary on the way the horror films are done and using this cutesy imagery in order not only to, in a subtle way, humble brag about itself, but also in the same manner, exploit the current shortcomings of horror of multiple different genres. I, I think you're just reading way too much. It's just a cardboard punk. What? I'm not the kind of person to read too much into things. No, you have what, never... What, what, what I write an anthology series about a children's Batman cartoon if I overthought things? Ah, smell it then. Oh, my musk uh, on this. What? See, now that I know that that's kind of what this is, that's see, interesting. Kidding. Like, first it's just like, that oh, is, look at the cute little bunk. But they had to establish that so you'd actually get the feeling of like, oh, I just got jump scared by, like, A cardboard. Ah, oh, I did it again. See, and they actually, and they get in your way just enough so it's actually like, oh, crap. You know, it's just, wow, aesthetic. Thanks. Look at this. All that with a cardboard. Pumpkin. And even in that, like, I've always been fascinated by non-scary horror, if that makes any sense. Like, um... <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay. So, are you... Uh, double check. See if you're still being chased. Okay. I, I just assumed good. I was. I think you're good. Because there's no slime on the floor. And... Well, there's not always on the floor, but that's his, that's his little thing. Okay. Uh oh, musical cue. See, no, okay. See, you're good now. See, just making see, our it's way. Fine. I'm sure that's that's it. That's all. That's the last that's, thing we have to deal one. with. I'm sure we'll never see him again. Never see him nothing. again. Um, this room's kind of neat when you don't have to run for your life. Yeah, it's just like, hmm. Nice, well, it's a nice little stroll. But yeah, like I said, I've always been fascinating in like, um, like people that explore the horror aesthetic without immediately just jumping to being scary. Um, like, uh, not that it was perfect, but I saw a scream for the first time maybe about a week ago. And I was kind of fascinated at the idea you know, I mean, I know that now, like, the idea of making self-aware horror has kind of been exploited to all hell, but, like, it was interesting to see, like, based... The trailers kind of misled me on what the premise was going to be, where, spoiler, um, the, instead of what I thought it was, which is kids using horror cliches in order to avoid a killer, it was actually um, a killer using horror cliches to get away with things. Cat DOS. Specimen one. Oh, a cardboard cutout figure that springs out of walls. Proved not very effective against healthy <laughs> subjects. That's poor fatalities. What you mean? Subjects. Hmm. Here we go. Physical a mostly semi-solid base specter that frequently changes matter states. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. Oh, we got some... You're not going to read that? Um, I, I, think, I think you should maybe read that. Specimen being developed at GL Labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it adequately effective to average subjects. Okay. I'm, sure, I'm sure that's nothing. 
Is no, it? none of this stuff is stuff that's gonna come up and bite me later. Ah, references. Uh, the 14th century spirit was contained. We look at here. Tests have yet to reveal origins, but all relevant information has been placed into testing chamber. Proved effective, but not greatly more than previous specimens. Error. <laughs> yeah, I think you missed one. Oh. Creature found inside the church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with specimen. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective against subjects with mental issues or weak wills. Hmm. And error. Error. So, okay. Interesting. Yeah, now I'm coming back. Keep going on to house number nine to two. Oh, I like that painting. Mm hmm. We, we should get some. What? Ah, oh, this is getting weird. Uh, what? No, don't change the sound effects. It's never a good sign. Oh, it's a puzzle. Puzzle I'm really bad at. Forward. Let's start over, so it's a forward. Left. Wait, forward. Forward. Okay. Forward. 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 So, one, two, th three. Forward, 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 left. Hey! Puzzle solving! Yeah! See, just know it's right. You just, you just gotta own your own. It's all good. You just gotta believe. Yeah. Just gotta believe. That's it. Oh! Hey, look at that. Mall of the Spook. Huh. I wonder what that is. Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, look, it's spooky. Isn't she adorable? How oh, is it this pleasant? Ah, oh, this is great. Murder, all aboard the murder train. You got a pretty good murder train on there. Double kill. I I know she's just murdering anything, but. She is adorable. Oh. Blood, blood. These people have a lot of blood. That's what are they waiting in line for? They're at the mall. You know, they're just, you know, being mauling people. Well, not mauling people. They're I'm mauling just, people. Yes. You know, they're just being at the mall. Literally getting to the point of killing so many people I can't see anything. Oh, okay. I didn't kill enough people. It just keeps going. Well, I mean, okay. Well, you didn't get high score, but name. Her. Okay, look around. Look around. Oh, what's this one? Mrs. Spook. Oh, hey, relevant. I was playing this recently. Yeah. It's something very similar to. Looks this. Oh, I'm the ghost. Yeah, you're the ghost. Oh! <laughs> you win! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? That's a nice little. Alright then. <laughs> well, isn't that special? Yeah. Who could have designed this game? Could it be Satan? Move it. No, on. Satan's much better. No, if it was Satan, it'd be more microtransactions. Ayo! Ah, uh, relevance. Yeah. That, that. 
Hey, you went the right way this time. Woo! So, uh, I'm trying to think of other things that are going on. Um, some of you guys who have not checked it out in the past. Ah! <laughs> Um, yay! Yeah, I hung in there! Hey, look. Ink, not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a romantic idea. Very not romantic. Ken, you gotta hang in there. I Just gotta, gotta hang, hang in there. there. Okay, so you made it to 100. So you got it. Woohoo! Okay. We made it to 100. So you are a tenth of the way there? Yay! Yeah! I'm sure it only gets better from here. I'm sure oh, the yes. rest is just rainbows and sunshine. Rainbows and sunshine. Death rainbows. What? Sunshine like happy day. Yeah. I'm sure it is. I'm going to take a five second break here so I can put something under my butt. A pillow. I should have stated that differently. Yeah, okay, um. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. We can just... That it. might get a deleted. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, look! Door 100! Woo! Also, Jump Scares Episode 1. Put this into your butt. <laughs> okay. No, none of that. Hey, look, it looks different. It's nice. I like, it. I like what they're doing with the floor and the... Green. Constant green. Hmm. Just a little moss. <laughs> So while we're at a somewhat of a decent way here, i um, just like to say real quick some stuff we got going on. As many of you may or may not know, me and Travis run a podcast on our Dead Men channel called Bomb Voyage, where we review Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel stuff and the like. Uh, we recently did a long review of uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron movie that just came out, and we also got some other fun stuff on there and behind us. Um, other things, like we said, we got some Let's Play stuff here and there, some other podcasts starting up soon, and, uh-oh, room's locked. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so, you know, you know okay, you can really have a and, uh, you know. I'll just slowly make my way back. Yeah. It's a good thing there's nothing coming up. Ah! Wait, just one to do I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I woke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for the there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Hmm. You know, just a hunch, but I'm not quite sure that's why. Hmm. Metallic. Maybe. Oh. Curiouser and curiouser. I wonder who this Noteman is. Where is Carmen San Diego? Oh, wait. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, jeez, I'm in his territory now. Yeah. Huh. Look at that. I have no idea where he is. Uh, I can guess where he is. Behind I me? Bet he's behind you, yeah. Well, one would hope, because if he's in yeah. front of me, then I'm really in trouble. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, well, there's blood on the floor now. Subject Fide is growing more and more restless. I spook. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer they can stay here safely. Hmm. Oh, it's a raptor. Yeah, look, look. It's a thing. And it's a, it's a thing. And that's hmm. uh, some red wine on the floor yeah, there. Yeah, just just the wine spell, you know. See, that's it. Hey, look, uh, look at the table over there. That leather table. Hey, look, a thing. Card key. Okay. Can use this on the door. Hmm. Hey, look, it's, it's this. What was that? Yeah. More wine. I believe subject five is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, so I faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. 
If it was out and alive when this uh, is probably my last report, then clicking is getting louder now. Found in the castle of. Ah! Uh, must have died. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that clicking. Screw hey. you, Donny Py Monty Python! Look at those, uh. You see those little uh, holes in the ceiling? Oh, uh, jeez. Is that a note? No, there was no. That, fuck, yeah, that fuck, was death. Fuck. No, that's 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 that is, not a note. Uh, that is a. Ow! Go, go, move, go, move. glitch. Move, 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 move. Which way you go? Ah, oh, okay. There, click. Okay. okay. <laughs> I wasn't sweating enough before this thing. Jeez. Well, I hear the click. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Cannot make mistakes, cannot make mistakes! Uh, Let's yeah. get to door! Da -da. Run. Run. Okay, what are there? I, I don't think these ones float over anything. That's I'm pretty sure. Good, as long as I don't make mistakes. Uh, yeah, I mean, your, your health is going up. You're... Okay, keep going, Son keep going! Of a bitch! <laughs> okay. I don't like you. Ah. Hmm. He doesn't think that's mine either. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I'm not seeing any holes in the ceiling, so I think you're good. And, and nice. Yeah, there was a note, so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do that. Two. Okay. Okay, so that was fun. Yeah. Um, that was fun. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty much perfect timing. You just like right. So no, go, right go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, and you're 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 all the way up. Your health is good. You're looking fine. When we're at one thirty-three. All right. Now, while I have a moment to breathe, uh, probably posted good. by the time this gets posted, uh, we got a new episode of our new podcast, Dead Men Tell All Tales where we are going to be talking about our favorite dark children's movies and also reviewing a very dark Batman episode. Okay. Well, yeah, that's, that's good for... That's That'll be fun. We got some new people, which will be nice. I'm trying... I actually am surprised I've been able to... I was scared I wouldn't find enough people interested in doing it, but I'm actually finding a decent number of people that want to be on it. So we might actually be able to have like a rotating cast that rotates. What? I'm being replaced? <laughs> you wound me. So, yeah, if you're... If you're a person that is knowledgeable about things... No, no, keep going, keep going. Yeah, let's keep going here. Got some more cat dos. Same specimens, or...? Yep, yep. Yep! Alright, we're good here, then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. One thirty-seven. Okay, so so that was a little terrifying. So let's see where this goes yeah. now. And you know, you know still only. Mm -hmm. That spider's a little less, you know, cute now, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. That's uh. This game does have a little bit of. A, it, this game is a really. In a good way, this game gets really claustrophobic once it kicks in. Huh. You get really... <sighs> yeah, let's see, is they're doing a lot of interesting things with their design. It, it, it seems so simple and quaint at first, and then you're like, oh, that's actually has a point, and it's actually effective. And actually just change a little bit. Just change it enough, like, you know, get a little green, get a little slime. I mean, I'm sure it's just... I'm sure it's just like the wire is just a little. I'm sure, it's just the lights, nothing. Fix it in post. Hmm. What does it mean? What? What the? Yeah. Are these the game guys or are these random YouTubers? I yeah, I think these are people who've played it and stuff, and they get their own little thing. I don't know. It's just a nice little random room that gets you know. It's a nice, quaint little room. Yeah. 
And we got it again. Yeah, lucky ass. I mean, that, that that's a good and bad thing about procedural. Is that, like, Every so often, uh, yeah. you can get... One four, 49. 150! Yeah! We hung in there! Okay. Can't go on much longer. I can go on. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I have seen many of the previous notes. Seen. I haven't seen any of my previous notes. That means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. I'll just put that note back there. Oh, I did put it back. Okay, so 150. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Feeling good. You? Now it's an interesting technique too to do with the uh, the elevators. Um, they actually use a similar thing more subtly in um, uh, Spec Ops: The Line, which like I had the guy, I was I think it was extra credits who was going over it. They explained like actually how much um, it's like it's surprising how much uh, survival horror elements are in the game despite it not technically being a horror game. One of the more interesting ones is you don't notice in the level design until afterwards that, like, so much of the levels continually have you traveling down and lapelling down and moving down. Like, to the point where you start, you don't actually realize you're so invested that, like, like in a realistic plane, this shouldn't happen. Like, we keep going down, but we're in the same place. But, which leads to a lot of people's theories about what aspects of the game are real or what aren't, or if any of it is, or if you're dead in the original hmm. beginning of the yeah. game, or like. in the ceiling. Yep, see those. Yep. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure that's nothing. Do, do, do. I'm sure they, they don't hear any clicking. What's that clicking noise? Keep it on moving. Keep on moving. Oh no, it's dark. It's dark. Ah! Oh, okay. You know, it is interesting to see like how so many people are able to use such different um, techniques in order to. Oh boy. <laughs> I am not gonna like this. What? Not gonna look around or nothing? I think you could go look around. I think you should turn around and look around. I think you should go in the corner. I don't wanna. <laughs> uh, hmm, it's kind of you. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So what's the thing? What's that say? I don't know what that says. You can wait. You can't read me. Right? No, I can't read Mandarin. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I'm just being, just being racially insensitive, so, you know, gotta fit in with those internets. I don't know. Yeah. That's, I mean, I just let's see what's around. Clock? You know, we got a clock over there. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm just kind of head out here. Okay. It's behind this door. No, this is just a single thing. No, it doesn't seem to be anything. Okay. Good. Wait, I think you should turn around. Hey, look at the desk. I think there was something on the desk. Oh, hey, look, a note. Could it really be true? I thought the fairy tales about ghosts eating children who sneak in after class was just keep us to keep us from disobeying but Matsuri is still missing uh oh that's not good what uh, sure it's fine what's that what what's that noise what what noise what's that whispering thing talking to me What's going on? I'm sure you're not being chased by anything. What's going on? Keep going. Oh, you didn't. 
I'm sure there's nothing behind you. I'm sure it's all fine. I'm sure everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Yes, it's great. Everything is good when you're part of the team. <laughs> ah, yes. Interesting. You know what the really interesting thing is? You don't even know what's behind you. No, you don't. There could be anything behind you. Do you, do you want to find out? I don't. You don't want to find out? I, I really don't. I think we're going to find out, though. I th that's the thing, because I don't have to work on it. I think it's just going to happen. I think you should save your sprint a little bit. Just, just tactically, you know, like, thing there. Oh. Oh, that's it's that a, thing. Yeah, it's that thing. Hmm. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a, the whole, like, corp thing was a, I'm pretty sure that was a reference to corpus party. The what thing is? It's the, That thing yeah, is? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was thinking the grudge. You could be right. It the, could be corpse party. I, it's it's a really well-known indie horror game. It was, like, one of the big ones. Oh, I thought you were talking about the... Uh, Never mind. Oh, that's Dead Man's Party. That's the Oingo Boingo song. Never mind. Uh, Remember Oingo Boingo people on the internet? Sure. Okay. You should enter the door. Oh. Enter the door. Keep going. For those I, guys I mean, who don't get that reference before, you worked with Tim Burton. Danny Elfman ran a weird rock band called Oingo Boingo. That's nice little trivia. That's great. They had pretty good music. Nice little trivia as we run for our lives. What's that noise? Is she, is she there? I haven't heard anything else. Okay. Okay, I, I don't really have the, you have the headphones on, so I can't really. Uh, you should be able to hear it a little bit. I hear it a little bit, but yeah, no. Okay. Well, it looks like we're good. So. 183. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Depending if I win or die, we might cut this off at 200. Or else There's I might explode. There's so much more. I'm going to say we won't revisit it, but it'll make a good first episode if I live. So, so you think there's room? Huh? Is it 200? That's fine. I'm back here. It's a good at first episode. I'm getting a good first impression here. Hmm. So... Thoughts so far? Uh, well, okay, that was great insight. Oh, don't uh, you love those cute little? Oh, aren't they adorable and they're little purple. They're so adorable. They're cardboard. Yeah. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Can you make it? Are you gonna make it there? Who knows? It could be anything. Who knows what's around the corner? I love the. I really love the lights. Yeah. They're just really small, and they just the fact that they're just. The little flicker on the backs of the just a nice and just little lines that look really good from far away, but it's just enough to get me. Oh, it's it's the little things. <sighs> hey, look a note. Hey, look a note. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. Really, that's not true. This place was like my escape, my escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. At least his death is romantic. Isn't that, that the point? Isn't that the happy ending we all wanted? Yeah. He died slowly and slowly. And Mysteriously. Slowly. 97. 97. No whammies. 97. No whammies. All right. Two rooms left. Be nice, game. It's just a. Be long. nice, game. Why, why is it good? Not really. Good game. Good, bad for him, but good game. Oh, we're gonna look into our know? lack of notes and that guy uh, when we come back. <sighs>
This is more intense than I figured. Um, I really like the aesthetics of the game. Um, this might actually definitely be something we revisit um, in this Let's Play fashion. But we want to thank all of you guys for coming to our first episode of our, uh, our shared Let's Play thing right here. So I'm Ken and this is Travis and we will see you next time. Yeah, we're done.